Good morning, I'm Mark Lovacop. And I'm Rob Starberg with your Channel 3000.com headlines for Thursday, July 19th. The storms that blew through the area last night left behind a lot of damage. Around 6.30 last night, a downpour started on Madison's far west side. Storm brought with it strong winds that snapped tree limbs and knocked down some power lines. At one point, at least 4,000 customers were without power. Most of those are back online this morning. University Avenue was hit pretty hard, too. It was closed westbound from Blackhawk Avenue until the water could recede. There was also trouble around the Hilldale area. Fire truck had to be called in to help out on University and Shorewood for uh, a water rescue. People got stuck in their car, stuck in the high water. Crews also had to put manhole covers back in place when the high water forced them to pop off. And despite this uh, one night of heavy rain, we're still in a severe drought in southern Wisconsin. More than 1,200 counties have been deemed disaster areas across the country. Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack spoke with President Obama yesterday about this drought. 61% of the land mass of the United States is currently being characterized as being impacted by this drought. And our hearts go out to the producers, the farm families who are struggling uh, through something that they obviously have no control over. Vilsack and the Obama administration say farmers could get more help if lawmakers pass a new farm bill and approve additional disaster programs. And this has been a Channel3000.com update.